Hello there, my name is Scott, and today I'm not going to be doing a review. Instead, I'm going to be doing a tutorial slash demonstration on gold plating. Now you may be wondering why is he doing a tutorial slash demonstration on gold plating? Well a couple of weeks ago I purchased a gold plating kit off eBay from, uh, I can't remember what the eBay username is, but they're a company called uh, Gold Solutions. I'll put the um, the website there. And uh, ever since then I've been sort of gold plating uh, a few bits and pieces of my sort of e-cig collection. Now I posted a couple of photos on the various sort of e-cig forums and then uh, since then I've had quite a few people asking me if I can sort of do a, a tutorial or like you know, just basically like a demonstration on how I actually do it. So that's what this video is all about. Okay, so uh, obviously as you can see now I gold plated my Bully uh, A2 atomizer and originally I did completely and utterly gold plate my Pro Vary as well. But I wasn't sort of too keen on it being all gold so I reverted it back to the original colour and then just gold plated the atomizer end cap and the battery end cap. Now my good friend on YouTube, Steve Montuno, he saw my Pro Vary, got a little bit jealous and he said, oh, any chance I could do his one for him as well. And because he's a good mate of mine, I like, uh, I said, yeah, no worries. So his one is a Chrome Pro Vary. And so this uh, tutorial is just going to be sort of showing how I gold plated just the atomizer end cap and the, uh, the battery end cap. Now, if you did have to go out and get yourself a gold plating kit uh, to try and do this yourself, Please, you know, just do it entirely at your own risk. You know, I don't want to get any comebacks if you make a cock up of it. You know, because uh, like I'm a, I'm only an amateur myself, so um, I'm not even too sure if I'm doing it completely right. But the results come out quite nice. Anyway, so here is the uh, tutorial. Uh, very briefly, a quickly, uh, sorry, very quickly before I start though. Normally when I do my tutorials, I normally sort of uh, speak and do the actions at the same time. Like I said, of course I am a, an amateur when it comes to this. I thought it might be a bit easier if I'd done the actual recording and then sort of do the voiceover afterwards. Um, okay, so anyway guys, uh, enjoy it and uh, speak to you in a bit. Okay, so I started off with setting out my work area. I've just got three empty cups which will hold each of the fluids. In the first cup, I'll then add some stainless steel activator. If you're working with stainless steel, then you need to actually activate it before you start plating. In the middle cup, I'm then going to add all of my gold solution. And um, once you've finished sort of plating, all these uh, solutions and fluids just get poured straight back into the bottle, so there's no sort of waste as such. And then in the last uh, cup, I'm going to add some deionized water, uh, which is about sort of 99p, and you can get it from most sort of petrol gouges in the country. So I'm then going to attach a positive terminal to uh, one of the electrodes, and then place that into the stainless steel activator. So here is the Chrome Pro Vary which I'm going to be gold plating, but I'm only going to be gold plating the two end caps that you can see there. So the first thing I need to do is remove the battery end cap, and obviously if there is a battery inside your Pro Vary, then that needs to be removed as well. Now because I'm only um, going to be gold plating the atomizer end cap and the battery end cap, I just want to mask off the, uh, the body just to make sure that no gold solution gets onto it. Um, and also it's going to help to uh, prevent any fluid from getting inside uh, the actual Pro Vary and onto its electronics. So I'm just going to also make sure that I cover up the LED glass and, uh, and the button as well. Next thing I need to do is set the voltage on the uh, gold plating machine and as I'm using stainless steel I'm going to set it to 9 volts. Depending on what solution and what material you're plating uh, will uh, depend on what voltage you need to use. And then I just need to add some uh, rubber or latex gloves. For the next stage I need to give the Pro Vary a quick once over with this compound polish.
as well as the, uh, the outside of the atomizer end cap, you want to make sure you get right inside the, uh, the juice well and also the actual atomizer connection as well. surfaces the better the gold plate will come out. You only need to get some uh, fairy liquid or washing up liquid um, and then just basically just dab your tissue into the distilled water, add a little drop of the fairy liquid to it and then use this to work onto the, uh, the metal that you're going to be plating. Uh, this basically just helps remove any sort of bits of grease or dirt as any sort of like grease or dirt will affect the actual uh, the finish of the plating. So again, just make sure you get all the outside, but also make sure you get the juice well and the atomizer connection too. Incidentally, just using a bit of neat washing up liquid with a tiny little bit of water, it really does uh, make your devices come out looking really super shiny. It really is very good for cleaning. And then just take some dry paper towel and uh, make sure you remove every sort of trace of the, uh, the washing up liquid. Basically you want to make sure it's completely bone dry and completely smear free. And once again, just make sure you get inside the juice well and the atomizer connection too. And then for the next stage, I just need to attach the electrode to the body of the Provary. Um, obviously just make sure you don't clamp it down too tight otherwise you will you know, get little marks there. Now whatever you do, make sure that the Provary or whatever you're plating doesn't come in contact with the actual electrode otherwise um, it's going to cause you problems. And then basically just start dipping the Provary into the stainless steel activator. Now you can see that I'm holding it at a bit of an angle and this is to prevent any air locks Otherwise, the actual sort of um, atomizer and the juice well uh, won't get any of the fluid touching it. So by going in at an angle, it helps to sort of prevent any air locks. And then just get some paper towel and thoroughly dry off the, uh, the wet area. And once again, just make sure you get right inside the juice well and the atomizer connection too. So now I need to add an electrode to the gold solution. So just place a electrode into the solution and then swap over the positive cable. Now once again, just making sure that you go in at an angle to prevent any sort of uh, air locks. Uh, basically just start plating your uh, Provary or whatever it is you want to plate. Now as you can see my hands are, are pretty shaky here and the reason for that is is because I haven't really got a lot of room to actually sort of uh, work in. Like the camera is probably only about 
12 inches above my hand now. And obviously I'm trying to keep one eye on the monitor and obviously sort of make sure I'm plating the right thing as well as avoiding touching that electrode. So shaky hand time. Once that's done, just get your distilled water and just uh, give it a good rinse. And once again, just make sure you get inside the, uh, the juice well and the, uh, the atomizer connection. and then get some dry paper towel and just uh, thoroughly dry it off. Now you may be thinking, well that doesn't look particularly gold, but uh, don't worry because the next stage is gonna sort that right out. So we need to get some of the gold polish which is what you would use after the plating, and just get your cloth and start giving it a nice polish. And pretty much straight away, you can start seeing the, uh, the shine come through. And obviously give it a nice buff as well. And then voila, now you can see a massive difference in the, in the color of the actual gold. And then just need to obviously remove the, uh, the tape. So just uh, pull that off and then get your cloth out and just give it a nice wipe. Just get rid of any sort of sticky marks. And then you're ready to go on to the battery end cap. And as you can see, that's looking pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna do the battery end cap now, but um, rather than going through the whole process, I'm gonna be uh, sort of speeding it up by 1,500%. So it's gonna take, uh, the actual clip, this took about 11 minutes this stage, um, but I've shrunk it down, it's gonna take about sort of 50 seconds to play through all of it. So it's all been uh, polished and uh, buffed up. Now I've put it onto the ProVary and that is the finished result there. Along with my 24 karat gold bully. And here are some photos of the actual, uh, the finished article and a few other bits and pieces that I've also gold plated recently. Okay guys, well thank you very much for watching and um, you know if you do happen to go out and get yourself a kit, you know, best of luck with it. It's, you know, it's quite good fun to do and you get some nice results. Just uh, pre, be pre-warned though that obviously a lot of the um, you know, electronic cigarettes or personal vaporizers, they're made out of aluminium and gold plating aluminium is a whole different ball game and it really does require a lot of skill. So don't sort of think you can go out and gold plate your GGTS or something like that. You know, you will need to sort of do quite a bit of research beforehand. Uh, but you know, if you've got something stainless steel, it is sort of quite relatively easy to do. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping, see you later.